Okay, ladies and gentlemen, my name is MC Haymaker. Thank you so much for being on the train. Thank you so much for being with me. It's been exciting journey since No Day Grand Podcast is going places. And you are the reason why it is going places, okay? So, uh, let me say this one real quick. Just a sense No Day Grand Podcast on all platforms. No, actually, go on Google. Yes, see, I'm excited because I have a smiling gentleman by my side. It is an amazing new week and the episode we are going to talk about is would you forgive a cheating partner all right this is intriguing i know you've seen it on social media already the teasers are out you want to know this is where the vibe is this is where the energy is we mix everything together for you energy or womb charlie stay glued don't go anywhere i'll be right back Okay, dokie, once again, this is Sense No Day Grand Podcast with me, MC Haymaker, your annoying personality, your loving personality, your sexy personality, all together in here for you. I told you I have a nice gentleman with me, Mr. Smile. Mr. Smile, welcome to Sense No Day Grand Podcast. Thank you, MC Haymaker. That I have a nice gentleman with me. Ladies, yes, the smile is infectious. You love it. You love it. So, welcome to Sense Logic Gram Podcast. Thank you. I think this is my second time being here. Yes, yes. And I'm glad to be here. But yes. I don't know why you choose me for the uh, awkward topics every time. It's but... not awkward. It's like every topic, you look at who it best fits. Uh-huh. Who I look it... like cheating. So, I look like cheating. Yes, you look like cheating. Yes. <laughs> In fact, you've been cheating. So, so uh, yes, there's a reason why I choose you. You are an expert when it comes to relationship. When it comes to cheating, all together, I think, even though you've been gnashing, yes, that's what we know. But still, now, no, yes, so you are an expert. How, no, how can I be gnashing and still be an expert? That is the point you are still trying to find out, <laughs> yes. Well, thank you for having me on this podcast. I mean, it's amazing. Sure, I, sure. I, I saw the beginning of this podcast and Charlie is going places, like you said. So, guys, uh, wherever you are on social media, check Sense No Day Grand Podcast. Sense No Day Grand Charlie, Podcast. Charlie, this is Ghanaian. Yes. This is African. This yes. is ours. It's because of you we are doing this. Exactly, so, Charlie, exactly. Check yes. it for us. Yes, no, the full man can have Yes, on the full. Sense No Day Grand. <laughs> okay. Okay, so uh, today we are talking about cheating. Mm. Would you forgive a cheating partner? But before we finally arrive on this, mm. we need to understand the whole concept of cheating, what drives somebody to cheat, and then all, the, all these things. So before we end, you come to understand or you come to know whether you are going to forgive a cheating partner or not. So Mr. Smart, let me ask you, what exactly is cheating? What, okay, so once again, thank you very much. Yo. And um, like I said from the beginning, this is an interesting topic. Yo. But I did a little bit of research on okay. this. So. Uh, to begin with, I found out the meaning of cheating, and okay. it is an act being unfaithful, an act of being unfaithful to a partner or a mm. spouse. Mm. So it could be your girlfriend, it okay. could be your wife. Okay. I mean, so far as there's a mutual relationship between the two of you, exactly. and you are violating that, you are being unfaithful beyond the borders of this okay. particular relationship, then you are cheating. Cheating. So, okay. going on, um, I also found that some types of cheating. Okay. That's why I arrived at uh, three main types of cheating. Uh-huh. Cyber cheating. Okay. Physical cheating. All and right. Emotional cheating. All right. Let me let a few examples. Okay. Cyber cheating had to do with maybe, you know, this way we sex text okay. people. Uh, the person who is not your partner. Okay. You are sending So, so like you, you block your partner and chat with somebody exactly. else or you, you block your partner from viewing your status Good. while you share a lady on your status. A very, 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 very smart and okay. intelligent point on the cyber okay. cheating. And uh, it also has to do with physical. The physical has to do with, I mean, the smooching, the kisses, the, yeah, the exchange of those kind of stuff. Okay. Yep. And uh, also the emotional has to do with more of making somebody, another partner or another person feel more comfortable, more good. Okay. And uh, depriving your partner of those emotions, those special emotions like okay. those quality times and all that, that those constitute the emotional cheating okay so these are the basic three that i found out and then uh, like the question you ask it also goes on to tell you that there will be reasons why somebody is cheating good 
or but any of this cheating. Should, should there be cheating. reason for cheating at all? Why would you cheat in the first place? So that is where we are arriving at. Okay. There could be drivers of this cheating, and uh, basically, one is to neglect okay. the need of your, uh, your 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 partner. Your partner. What about a partner needs? If you're not resolving it, if you're not finding solutions to it, okay. If you're not giving them what they want, okay. they would come to that point. Especially their love language. Okay. But I don't so, know your sometimes love language. you are giving everything you want. They've communicated the love language to you. You are doing your best in that yep. capacity. It comes to another point, another driver which says that um, the need for variety. There are some people who are, their needs are very insatiable. Okay. Uh, no matter what you tell them, no matter what you give them, no matter how you do it. They need to mix the things. Yes, shit. they need it. Okay. They need it. So okay. these are some drivers. So like we've mentioned one, mm -hmm. if you neglect their love language and all that, mm -hmm. what they need, if you don't give it to them, okay, it could be a cheating point. It could be a cheating point. Yes. Um, okay. It could, I mean, get somebody to cheat. Uh, if you also don't give people, I mean, some people love variety. So yes. uh, their taste for variety would definitely make them go for for, for somebody else. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Okay. And also low commitment was okay. another point that came to 50-50, side by side. If, your compromise. Exactly. Okay. If you are not ready to lower your standard a bit, lower your, I mean, if you are not ready to yes. give that commitment and standards. Then definitely there's going to be cheating. Yes. Yeah, so I won't find happiness with you. And, okay. Yeah. So these are the basic ones that I okay. found out. So, yeah. so then it comes to the point or uh, the question that at what point is it cheating? So, is, it, is it when I'm texting? Is it when I'm, I'm, I'm like you've mentioned these types. Mm -hmm. Okay. So is it when I'm texting? Is it when I'm meeting in person? Is it when I'm having a physical intercourse with the person? That That is where cheating comes. Because mostly that is where my mind goes to. Yes. But one that's... show there. And this show, <laughs> then my, no, it's never cheating. Not cheating. Okay. So like I started from the beginning, I said, it's an unfaithful act outside okay. the boundaries of your relationship okay so okay. the very moment you are, whatever you are doing you are hiding it from the other person you're trying to keep it away from the person it's, okay it's an act of faithfulness okay. and uh, so you start from here the very moment you started hiding your partner hiding uh, or whatsapp status yes. trying to put closing your whatsapp uh, to your partner to your for partner. them not to see okay the very moment you started sexting that person okay sending those new to that person without mm -hmm. your partner's mm -hmm. telling mm -hmm. all those things that is the point of cheating okay, okay. that is the point of cheating okay okay it's the reason why you are when normally people are doing that that is when you avoid people going through your phones. your phones and then okay. exactly if okay. you know if that by then maybe you have not even kissed the person yes. or done anything but if you are clean you have nothing to hide to hide so okay. cheating is a process. Okay. It's a process. And it begins from the very moment you begin to hide it. Okay. Or that act begins to be okay. unfaithful. Or, or maybe it begins from the very moment you start giving another person attention more than your partner. Exactly. I think I like that one. Exactly. I like that one. Okay. So then uh let me let me ask you this. Is cheating by chance, by choice, or a mistake? So I checked this also up and okay. uh, that's what I came up. Whether it's a choice, not, um, oh. by chance, or it, it's a because sometimes it comes up. Oh, it was a mistake. Let, let, let me, I be, let, let me I, personally. Let me I, I don't think cheating is a mistake. I subscribe to that point. Uh, that was exactly what I was going to say. Yeah. It's not a mistake. Uh -huh. It's not by chance. Okay, it's a choice. Yes. like we said, it's a process. It's a process. Yes. So it's a choice. Yes. If you know you don't want to cheat, you won't begin to give that person attention. Attention. Yes. If you know you don't want to kiss that person, you won't begin to send the person. You won't notes. invest it. You won't flat. You exactly. won't respond to flat. It's a process. The very moment you begin with the phase one, you move on to phase, phase two, two and phase, phase three. three. Yes. So it's a choice. Yes. It's a choice. Yes. And I mean, uh, humming on that more, yeah. I found out that uh, it's a way for people to dodge breakups. Yes. So people kind of wanted to dodge their breakup and uh, it's like I, I love you i don't want to let you go, go. but you're cheating exactly but you don't have to dodge to do this so you've chosen to use your relationship as the forefront okay and use the cheating as the back view yes to yes. whatever you are doing exactly. which is not exactly. a good thing so yeah those are the things i came up with and it's also a coward move okay it's only cowards who okay. make such moves so yeah okay so, so then, uh, the, now that's the next. After establishing all these facts, mm -hmm. the types of cheating, at what point it becomes cheating, if cheating is by choice, a mistake, or by chance, whichever way, would you forgive a cheating partner? Okay, before I go on, or to, will you call it quick? Um, 
before I go on to that, okay, uh, there was one particular thing I also wanted to touch on. I mean, okay. it's a very sensitive issue we all talk about when about the issue of cheating comes up, okay, and it um, about men and women yeah. who cheat. Now, also another study I researched according to ifstudies.org, okay. you can check it out. It says that men cheat more than women. Today, oh. I, 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 away from oh. the studies, I want to agree. And it's not even I want to agree. <laughs> I want to say that we do cheat more than women. Gentlemen. I am putting myself in, in that corner. I'm not being biased to the gentleman. Okay. It's true. We cheat more than the lady. Putting but yourself in that corner because you have experience. I have experience. How many times have you cheated? Uh, I can't recall. <laughs> but it, it, it won't be uncountable as well. <laughs> but what I'm saying that is, I mean, men cheat. Okay. But this is where we this is the line i also want to draw okay i'm not justifying what i've said earlier okay but i'm saying that if women cheat it's deadly exactly <laughs> men cheat they can do it like plenty times yes but the but very one the woman does, mind that okay you can kill yourself <laughs> like you go crazy i have had this experience and okay like, it's mad i've had that experience too i mean i thought i was cheating on this girl okay i thought i was not being not knowing no, you I love you, her. You, you thought you were being smart. Yes, let me put it that way. Oh, okay. But Charlie, she showed me small. Small, no confused. So actually, she was not even doing it. She it knew what plan. I was doing. And she was, yes, kind of pranking me. Okay. So she and, went out with this guy and Charlie uh, was dangerous. I I, oh, I <laughs> felt I felt sick. Like Charlie, it was dangerous for me. I <laughs> it took Jesus to rescue me from this. But so, yeah, so they, they, they make you realize that no, I don't have to do what I'm doing again. I have to be serious with this relationship. It did. Okay. It did. It really, it really did. It taught me a very uh, but wine chair. Yes, reasonable lesson. Okay, wine chair. I had to move on with life because I mean we had come to the point where now we we're looking at our backs. Okay. We we're all feeling he's doing yes, it. Yes, she's doing, she's doing it. it. Okay. At a point, I trusted that she's not doing it, but okay. I still my doubts kept like okay. she started with a prank. It could go beyond it. Yes. So yes. I mean, we couldn't go move forward with that. Okay. okay. But she's still a very nice friend. I would have mentioned her name, but hi. Okay. <laughs> hi to you. She knows herself. She'll, she'll be checking out this podcast too. So okay, that that Good. that's great. That's so let's great. come to the point uh, finally yeah. on. Um, would I? Will, yes. Will you forgive yes. a cheating person? That I wanted to come to the point that it's it's a question of me. Okay. And a question of what we've explained. Yes. Now we've explained the fact that it's choice. Yes. It's not mistake. It's not chance. Uh-huh. And the uh, reasons why they do it, I mean, yes. some people hide it behind their breakups and they want to uh-huh. break up with you and all that. Uh-huh. And some are cowards yes. and they can't really do it. So the cowards, you know, you know they what, do what, it so that yes. you go away from them. Yes. Some too, they find a partner or someone they feel mm-hmm. they are more connected, connected to and they to. can't tell you. Yeah. So you know, they do I, all I was things. nearly used for the revenge part mm. before. Yes, I, I was nearly used then because the gentleman wow. was cheating and it, it had been made known public okay that he was doing this okay. and ignoring the girlfriend but i had this nice relationship with a girlfriend okay mm-hmm. we talk and all uh-huh. and the gentleman know that knows that i have this relationship with a girl because we went for one program and I, oh is this person here oh no no she didn't come that sort of thing later i saw the the lady and i'm like oh i saw your guy like earlier i was say you wouldn't come says i don't mind him he's been cheating says, 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 says. charlie that day hmm if Peter was, had not been on duty that day, <laughs> Judas would have triumphed. That's how I put it. I understand. Yes. Peter and, was on duty. And and was Peter was on, on duty, duty because Michael was doing the flyover. Mm. And Michael was doing the flyover. We, we bless God. He, we bless he, God. He, and... saw the fl- he saw it and said, no, Peter, break that. Yeah. It was broken. We bless God that Michael yes. and Peter were on duty. <laughs> But Charlie, sometimes it's dangerous. So, to yes. the point about um, would I forgive a cheating person? Uh-huh. See, I've come to understand something that um, human beings are full of mistakes. Okay. I would forgive a cheating partner. I would forgive a You would partner. forgive a cheating partner. And I would advocate that you forgive a cheating okay. partner. Wouldn't it depend on the magnitude of the cheating? Well, it might, but no matter what. You will forgive um, a cheating partner. MGMK, there's, some, there's a principle I work with in life these okay. days. I go out, I wake up every day. And I tell myself, I make provision. I'm an accounting student, okay. by the way. <laughs> so I make provision. That's a surprise. Yeah, I'm an accounting student. Accounting though. student. <laughs> Let's so go. So I make provision. That, okay. Uh, you know, provision for bad debts. That uh-huh. This might happen. Mm-hmm. So I make room for the fact that as I step out today, somebody might insult me. Okay. How would I react? As I step out today, somebody might pour on me. How okay. would I react? 
as I step out today, somebody might slap me. Okay. How would I react? Okay. I make room for the bad things. So when they come, come. there is a space for space them. For, okay. I make room for the fact that if I'm in a relationship with you, okay. you have a personal life. You have a personal life as okay. well. So it shouldn't come to the point that uh, things that you, I, I'll force you to do certain mm-hmm. things. I have told somebody that if I'm in a, in a relationship with you, I would want you to even go out with your friends, if they are guys or ladies. Have a time out. Mm. If I'm even married to you, I want you to have a time out. Mm. But I want to trust you that you won't go and do something bad. Mm. Mm. But I'll forgive a cheating partner. Okay. On the basis that we are human beings. One. Okay. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. Probably there was a problem. We've okay. not been able to resolve it. That is what. Even though I'll have second thought, but okay. I have come to understand myself and tell myself these days that I'll forgive somebody if they do that. Not because somebody might be thinking, because I might do the same and I want the person to forgive okay. me. If you like, don't forgive me. Okay. But I will forgive you. But there is a temptation that that person might make okay. them feel comfortable. Okay, so then uh, the borderline is drawn that you will forgive. And I will advocate for that. For, for See, people to forgive. We are human beings and there's nothing. Everybody hurts. Nothing, nothing. It hurts. It, it no, to find out that your partner, somebody you trusted, that might cheat on you. No, I think the point you're missing here is I will forgive, but the question as to whether we will move on or not, I would also. But is it forgive and forget? That's what the Bible says. No, you can never, you can never <laughs> forget. It's hard to forget unless they erase the memory. Forgiving you, I forgive you because, okay. like I said, we are human beings, okay. and anything can happen. Plus, the fact that if I forgive you, okay. I'm healing myself. Okay. That's another reason why I'm forgiving you. But as to moving on, on we would have that, to decide. That is the issue. If we decide, then tell it. But I will never hold it against you too. Okay. If I decide to forgive you and move on with you, okay. I will never want to hold it against you. Okay. It's like erased. It right. might be in the memory, but it's erased. It, it's erased. Okay. That is my point tonight. Okay. So uh thank you so much, Mr. Smile. Thank you so much. It's been very insightful, it's very entertaining, very, you know, educative. Let me put it that mm. way. Yeah, for, for 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 today's episode or for, for this particular episode. But for me. If you are my partner and you cheat, um, I will forgive you. <laughs> yes, but I will forgive. But I'm a very curious person. So I want to find out how it, it, it is like to cheat. So you're going to cheat too? I'll forgive you. I hold nothing against you. So you're going to cheat But I'm curious. Too. I just want to know how it, it is like. I'm not going anywhere. No, no, I'm not leaving you. I just want to try and see. So you also go and try it? Yes. I'm, I'm just curious, just for curiosity's sake. I thought I'm crazy, but you are, you are crazy. <laughs> Guys, thank you for having me on this podcast. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. I mean, I've, I've enjoyed myself. Sure. It sure. was brief though, but I wish sure. we could do part one and two. But I mean, it's understandable tonight. Exactly. You make a decision exactly. out of this for yourself. Yeah. But uh, out there, all I will say is that, I mean, I think we have fixated so much on the wrongs of people. Yes. And cheating yes. has become so normal, but it yes. is not normal. It's a choice, like you said. If you start from one thing, you will end up on to, yes. another face, which is not yes. good. So, guys, uh, guys, we cheat more than ladies. But if the ladies cheat, it's dangerous. So, please, let's stay away. Thank you so much, Mrs. Ma, for joining me here. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is where we close uh, for today. This is where we draw the curtain for this episode. Would you forgive a cheating partner? Let me know what you think. If you enjoyed yourself just as much as I did, just link up on all social media platforms. Since No Day Grand Podcast is on, you can follow me on all social media platforms as well. It is MC Haymaker or MC underscore Haymaker. That is it. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel as well. Don't forget to follow. Don't forget to listen. Share for friends to also enjoy themselves. Until next time, bye-bye. <laughs>